Hello church, uh, this is Asher Carmichael and uh, many of you know uh, Sandra and, uh, as well as me, um, but some of you may know our daughter Blair and son-in-law Jason and their family uh, even better. Uh, we've been members of Spanish Fort for many years uh, in two different time frames. We love this church and uh, the people of it and um, so the staff has asked me to share some thoughts with you today. So if you would uh, join me in, in this time, uh, and at the end we will close with a prayer and then uh, the Lord's Prayer. Um, Sandra and I have been participating in Pastor Bill's class in, entitled um, From Shallow Belief to Mature Believer. And the premise of the book is that our individual salvation uh, is just the beginning of our relationship with the Lord. Indeed, Scripture uh, tells us that we are to work out our own salvation and to move towards holiness in this life. Indeed, John Wesley embraced this idea uh, and himself calls us to move towards Christian perfection. In light of the pandemic and the recent deaths um, that, uh, of George Floyd and others, it set me to thinking um, about what our spiritual maturity might look to others. Perhaps it looks completely different to different people. Those with whom we have much in common and agree, uh, may look for and see one thing, while there are those who, who we may disagree and not have much in common, and they see something completely different. We are called to be light and salt by Jesus, light and salt to this world. And I admit that I fail in that too easily. It is too easy to make judgments about people, circumstances, and events in their lives. And this can certainly affect how some people view our witness. Jesus calls us to love God with all our heart, soul, and mind, and our neighbors as ourselves. Doing so effectively will certainly have an effect on how others view our spiritual maturity. I, for one, have a long way to go, but it is my prayer that the Lord will continue to work in all of our lives to this end. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we know that um, too many times we fail you in regards to the life that you would have us to live and to lead. And Lord, we also fail our friends and family as well. And Lord, we just ask that, um, that you would put in our heart a desire to love you with all of our heart, soul, and mind, and our neighbors as ourselves. Help us to be salt and light to this earth. Help us to be accepting of those who may look different than us, have different thoughts than we do, and to know that you love each and every one of us. And Lord, as we close, we ask that, uh, that we speak together as we pray the prayer that you taught us to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, our will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, church. We love you. 
and we look forward to seeing you in person.